ladies and gentlemen, we are going to see beta in one week from today. Actually, six days because I, I think I'm going to be uploading this Monday morning. But you get the point. Beta is coming in this upcoming episode, episode 12. But welcome back, everybody. Today, we're here to do my breakdown of the trailer we got for The Walking Dead Season 9, episode 12. But before I get into it, let me just warn you with a spoiler warning in case you haven't been caught up with The Walking Dead. Go watch Season 9. It is an amazing season. And then come back to this video. Uh, but let's begin. So I want to talk about the dialogue in the promo first. Because we're seeing a bunch of stuff. I'll talk about the visuals in just a minute. But we're hearing something very important. We're hearing Lydia talking. And she's saying that I pretended I needed help. And I lied for uh, just for you to trust me. And I'm assuming she's talking to Henry. And, and then she straight up punches Henry in the trailer. Which is crazy. So we officially are seeing. Well maybe not officially. We're going to. We still have to wait. But Lydia is obviously pissed off that Henry followed her um, and I think she may be pissed off because her mother may be pissed off at Lydia so even if Lydia likes Henry she might just be saying this just so her mother won't, won't get mad at her but regardless um, you know you can kind of look at this in two different ways. So I don't want to say like we're officially seeing Lydia's true colors because um, in the trailer, you know, throughout the trailer, we also have Alpha, you know, and Beta kind of pissed off at Henry. So she could be seeing this. Um, we she could be saying this to Henry just when they're by if they're, she's if they're by themselves yeah they most that's most likely Lydia's true colors but she could also be saying this because she's scared of her mother but the fact that she punched him I do have a feeling she's being honest here but we have to wait and see but let's talk about the actual uh, visuals we see so we have Lydia and Alpha walking back to the community and this is gonna be interesting and I love how they're really exploring these characters a lot like we're seeing it from their point of view and what they're gonna be doing and they're gonna be like it's essentially like the protagonist of the episode in a way like we're gonna see life through their eyes and i do really like that about the walking dead or this you know arc they're really focusing and fleshing out these characters and then we also have lydia here just kneeling and all the whispers that surround them so they most likely are just like sitting down just waiting or something or they feel like they may be getting followed or they're gonna meet up with beta here um, but they're just on their way back and it looks like they may, may like the actual whisper camp may be far away uh, Lydia did say that the whispers don't stay in one place forever. They move around um, So, uh, you know, it, it looks like it might be a long travel so that's, that's why they're kind of waiting around but then afterwards we have Henry here in his ditch and this is him obviously following uh, Lydia and them and straight out of the comics he took Carl's storyline, um, you know, I mean we already knew that a while ago, but still, like I just love this, uh, you know, him. I, I just love the storyline of him following, and I like how they brought it. And then he's going to get ambushed by a whisper from behind. Um, now, he does take down this whisper with, with his uh, stick, so good shit, Henry. But then we have uh, Mr. Big Boy Beta just stepping in right here, and Henry's, like, looking down, and he's about to turn around and get the surprise of his life. And he kind of uh, drops down, and he's going to obviously pick up Henry, and he's, he just tosses him here. So he's going to Beta's going to bring back uh, Henry to Alpha, and man... She is going to be pissed off. But it does look like um, this is going to be Alpha's introduction to um, the um, Walking Dead. I do wish, though, that they don't really show his actual introduction. Like, I don't know. I get they have to sell the episode and this and that. But imagine if we didn't know Beta was going to come in this episode, right? Like, we just saw him. Or at least this is like, it looks like this is going to be his first scene. So. If it's not going to be his first scene, then totally forget what I'm saying. But I, I kind of sometimes wish they don't show the first scene of the main like villain or main character that they're going to introduce. Uh, I, you can still show him in the episode um, or in the trailer so they can sell the episode. But I feel like, you know, now we are expecting him to come in there. But imagine us just watching the episode fresh and, you know, um, Henry takes down this whisper and from behind him comes you know beta like i feel like that would be a lot better but i don't know um that's just my opinion but regardless not a big deal at least we're getting beta in this episode um episode 12 it looks like so we still haven't we still have that uh, section in the trailer all the way back in like november they gave it to us of hen uh, of beta and daryl fighting so at first i thought that was going to be beta's introduction um and then we also have daryl going after henry in this episode uh, but I can see that fight and that that fight is gonna be going on inside of a building So I have a feeling still that might be the sanctuary We're gonna have to wait and see it But it could also be just like a random building that Daryl goes into while he's after Henry um, 
It could happen this episode, but I'm assuming, I, I don't think so. I, it most likely will happen in episode 13 or 14. And then we hear Beta for the first time. And right off the bat, let me just say that I love Beta's voice. I think it is great. It fits his character, obviously. Uh, Ryan Hurst is definitely an actor who can pull off a voice like that. I do like it. And he's talking to Alpha here saying that we need to protect ourselves. We need to be ready. Obviously, I'm sure he's going to be, he's talking about the community. And Henry just fucked it up. I'm just saying right now. Uh, because they just did the trade and they were on their way back and you know obviously now that beta found henry following them um, i'm sure he's kind of warning alpha like we need to take care of this community because now they're on to us so um yeah essentially this is going to be the start of the big uh battle the big upcoming battle and it's interesting because episode 11 ended off with that you know song and everybody was like relaxing and chilling and you know having a not really not really having a good time but they were spending time with their loved ones and everybody was relatively happy and now you know shit's gonna go down so uh you know it, I feel like a lot of characters um, are in some trouble, possibly, by these whispers. And then we have Beta helping Alpha put on her mask. Very, very sweet of him. Uh, and then uh, next we have Daryl following the whispers. This is um, obvious. And Connie's helping him, which I like because Daryl saved her life in episode 11. Uh, and Daryl's really good at tracking, and I'm sure Connie is also. Um, so they found that ditch that Henry was in, and he, uh, she writes like he caught up with them. So I think they actually might lead them into the Whisper Camp. And we actually see the Whisper Camp in a trailer we had. Uh, I'm going to put up the image right here. And this is awesome because we have those walkers like kind of um, pulled up there. And it looks like they're actually like this is might be the process of them, you know, skinning the walkers and making the um, Whisper Mask. So it's, it's going to be pretty cool seeing the Whisper Camp on screen. And this is what I mean right here. We have Beta um, putting this walker up against a tree. And we can see the walker's face is all kind of messed up. It might, it's like I could definitely see uh, Beta making a mask possibly for Henry. Because if they're taking Henry back to the Whisper Camp, they don't want him to, you know attract walkers and right here this next shot we have him against the tree and alpha turns the corner to talk to him and the way alpha walks is just super creepy to me but if you take a look in the back we have uh betas holding this mask so um it's hard to tell but that mask is obviously empty he might or yeah he he possibly is going to be making henry a mask just so you know he doesn't get the walkers to come and it finally looks like we're going to be getting some alexandria in this episode which is great i miss my girl michonne it's been a couple episodes without Al any alexandria um characters so it looks like they're going to be having some inner you know a community dilemma because we have michonne here and she's obviously very angry and she's saying that you know putting ourselves out there is very dangerous and then Gabriel looks to be kind of angry too, and, and he says that, um, you know, who are we going to turn to if we need help? So this is obviously referring to back in episode 11, the flashback when Tara said that Hill, uh, Alexandria didn't really want to help, and then she took the supplies and kind of dipped. Now, I don't know how you want to look at that. You know, yeah, Tara wants to help the sick people at the hilltop, but... I just, I don't know. I can't side on Tara's side or Michonne's side. Yeah, Tara maybe shouldn't have t taken supplies and did. That's kind of messed up. And then again, maybe Michonne's having a tough time. You know, she's leading and she needs to take care of her own people and people are kind of braiding her. But it's very ironic because remember in the beginning of season nine when she was, um, you know, talking to um, Maggie and saying that you need to help the saviors with food and stuff because they're working on the bridge and Maggie didn't want to help them. So... I think it's kind of interesting how it's coming full circle here with now people asking Michonne for help and she is now understanding what it takes to be a leader and to look after people and she realizes that, you know, we really can't help that much if we don't have, if, we are, if we're not secured ourselves, you know, we can't go out and helping other people. Next, we have this scene right here of Alpha telling this guy to, you know, sh with, it, with her bloody hand. And let me just tell you right now, this, I, I, I can already have, I have a feeling this is going to be an amazing scene. I don't know exactly what's going on here. Some people, like, said it's like a flashback or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't follow spoilers. I don't really want to know what's happening here. Uh, but obviously, this guy does not belong to any community. So, you know what I think would be really cool? If this guy's like a whisperer who messed up or screwed up and Alpha kills, you know, one of her own just to show how brutal she is. I think that's what might be happening here. And I think that would make for an epic scene. Next, we have Beta bringing Henry over to Alpha in the dark. And we have Lydia standing right over, right next to Alpha. And it looks like some crazy shit's going to happen here. I do think Alpha might ask Lydia to kill Henry because she throws a knife on the ground. 
and um, you know Beta's kind of hold uh, choke holding Henry and Lydia's crying so obviously she doesn't want to do it so that's what I meant early on in the episode like you know Lydia just might be saying this stuff to Henry just because her mom is like right next to her at all times and she doesn't want to disappoint her mom or you know say something that her mom would be angry at her maybe she actually does care for Henry we don't know for sure but I think in this scene Alpha is going to be asking her daughter to kill Henry which I don't think it's going to happen, but I'm very intrigued on how he's going to get out of this. Maybe last second, um, when she's a, like, we could, maybe it could be like a sort of thing, like last second, um, Alpha says, don't do it. You know, we're going to take him back to the, you know, community. Or maybe D Daryl and Connie come and save him last second. I, I don't really know how he's going to get out of this, but I just know he's not going to die like this. I, I That's going to be crazy if he does. I don't think it's going to happen. He's definitely going to get out. But notice these masks that are kind of perched up on these poles. Maybe a little bit of a foreshadow to the upcoming Pikes. Um, maybe, who knows, but I do think this is the actual, uh, whisper community or camp because we have in the background, they kind of put up their walker suits on. So this could be the whisper camp or it could just be like a random camp, a uh, little, you know, thing they set up overnight, depending on how far the whisper camp is, but it could be the real one. Um, but yeah, this scene looks to be very intense. And then the trailer ends with Alpha putting her mask on and walking towards the screen. So that is the trailer we got for The Walking Dead Season 9 Episode 12. Looks to be a really, really good episode. Um, we also got two sneak peeks, so stay tuned for videos talking about those. Um, let me know in the comments down below. I am going to wrap it up there for this uh, video. But let me know in the comments your thoughts and opinions on this trailer. Things are moving very fast, so in case I missed anything, leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. And if you are a fan of The Walking Dead, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys later.